On this installment of Retro Tech Time, we are looking at getting started with Roger Taylor's Phoenix IDE on the Tandy Color Computer and writing a basic program. Welcome to the Retro Tech Time channel. I'm your host, Terry Steggy, aka Data Soup. In this video, we're going to look at getting started with Roger Taylor's Phoenix IDE programming application and using it to write and edit a simple basic program for the Tandy Color Computer. The link for Phoenix IDE will be listed in the description down below. Once we have it installed, we're going to create a new project. We'll name this project Coco Test Project. And under project type, we're going to call this a miscellaneous project. Just add your name and your company's name. Everything else should be default, so you can just hit OK. Next, we need to create a virtual disk for our project. You can name this whatever you'd like, but remember this is going to be the name of your .dsk file when you're done with your application. We're going to leave the defaults alone here. The sides is 1, tracks 35, sectors 10. The only thing we do need to change is our source type. We're going to choose old Mac CR. And here I'm just going to name this Coco Test. This will generate our source code file that we will use to put our basic program inside of. Now we're going to modify this .src file to first line will clear the screen. The second line we will have it print some text on that screen. Now making sure you're on the CocoTest.src file tab above, you're going to change the action to a build action. And next under the builder tab, we're going to choose Coco Basic, will be our CocoTest.bas. Lastly, under the target image functions, we need to select the F type equals basic. ASCII equals binary. Now from the post build tab, we need to choose the launch selection and make it true. And the tool selection needs to be VCC. This will prompt you to choose the location of your VCC executable on your machine. Now that everything's configured, we need to choose the Save Everything icon at the top. Now we need to use File Explorer to see the directory that you created when you built this project. And that directory should have the files we just created. Next in the top menu, under the word Build, we're going to select the Go button. When it's completed, it should automatically open VCC for you. Next, we need to insert the DSK file that we created in our project. That's going to be under the location of our project in that directory. From there, there's a directory called product, and that should have our .dsk file. 
do not use the one of the root that is a blank one that's initially created when you start the project. Once you've selected that on the VCC Coco, you're going to select the drive one and then you're going to do a directory. This should show us the BAS file that we created and we should be able to load it and run it. And there you have it. Hello from the Coco. That's the text that we added to this. Now we're going to change our program to add a line that will make it loop back to the line that prints the hello from the Coco line. This is a standard loop that's going to run forever till you break the program, but it will print our text line after line until we stop it. Now after we save everything, we're going to hit go and we should have VCC open again. Since we haven't moved our disk image, all we need to do is do our drive space one. We're going to look at the contents. Now when we run the Coco test basic file, it should continuously loop until we stop it. And it does. Now we'll break the program and look at the code, which should be identical to what we did in Phoenix. And it is. As always, thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment about this episode or what you'd like to see covered in future episodes. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified when future videos are uploaded. Thanks again.